Hello everyone, so in the past videos I've only been giving you molecules that have the same kind of attachments. Now we're going to give you molecules where there are different kind of attachments and I'm going to show you how to handle that. So for example, here's the first molecule. So remember, regardless of whether there are more than one type of attachment or not, step one is always to try find the longest chain. And so if you go through this one, you would find that that is seven. Okay, so from seven on the table, that's hept. So that's still the same. If you look at this molecule, you'll see that it looks like an alkane, but then just watch out for that. That's a halogen. So this is a halo alkane, but we know that halo alkanes just end with the word ane. Okay, so we've taken, ta taken care of table and homologous. Now we need to look at all the attachments. So that is everything sticking out from the main chain. So that's this one and this one. So we've got a one carbon attachment which is called methyl. So let me just write that down. But we also have a chloro. Now the first thing we need to look at is we want to make sure that the branch numbers are as low as possible. So if we labeled it from the left, then your branches would be on carbon five and six. If we label it from the, that looks like a three, if we label it from the right, then your branches will be on carbon two and three. So obviously we're going to label it from the right. Now here's where it gets interesting. How do we know which one to do first? Should we do chloro or methyl? The way that this works is you look at the alphabet. So we know that C comes before M and so we will start with that one. So we'll write chloro over here and on which carbon is the chloro? Number two. Then we'll do the methyl next and on which carbon is the methyl? Well that's number three. Then remember between any word and a number there should always be a line and so that is the name of this one. It's got nothing to do with putting the numbers in order. That just happens, that just happened with this one by coincidence. You want to look at the alphabet. Here's another example. So with this one, remember you always want to find the chain first. So that's going to be eight, which is oct. Then we can see that this is just a halo alkane because it's got halogens. So those just end with an. Now we need to look at our attachments. We've got a fluoro and a chloro. The chloro is on carbon four and the fluoro is on carbon three. What we do is we use the alphabet. So we know that chloro comes before fluoro in the alphabet. And then we've got fluoro over there. Then we need to say where that happened. So the chloro was on carbon three and then the fluoro was on carbon four. Notice that between any word and number, there always has to be a line. See? And over there. So that one is three chloro, four fluoro, octane. And so here's the last one. So to what we should always do is identify the longest continuous chain. So here we've got eight carbon, so that's going to be oct. We see that there's only single bonds, so that's an alkane. And then everything sticking out is an attachment. So we need to label it so that the attachments have the lowest number. So that will be from the right hand side, because that will be on carbon number one, two, three and then carbon four. So it'll be carbon three and four. Now what are these attachments? Well this one has a single carbon, so that's methyl. This one has two carbons, so that's ethyl. Now ethyl comes before methyl in the alphabet, so we'll start there. So that's going to be ethyl, and then the last one is methyl. Then you need to give the numbers, so that's on carbon four, and then this one is on carbon three. So notice that the numbers can go in descending order, that's okay. What's important is that you're going in alphabetical order. And by the way, if there was two methyls, and so you would have to add dimethyl over there, that doesn't count as part of the alphabet. You don't look at that D. You're always looking at the original attachments, which is methyl and ethyl. And so that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.